Hello all, Kyle AA0Z here. Do you have a flex that you have remoted and you want local side tone and a local keyer so you can key your flex remotely? Stay tuned and I'll show you a solution. All right, to make this work, you need a few pieces of equipment. You need a wind keyer, a USB wind keyer by handcrafters.com. You need some RCA plugs uh, that you can um, wire up to two cables, a shield and a um, center pin. You need a DB9, uh, and this is a DB female, DB9 female. You need a serial to USB uh, cable, and this is a FTDI cable with the FTDI chip, and then obviously you need your keyer. If you head over to Groups.io and you navigate over to the remote key interface group, you'll need to join that group. Once you join the group, you will have access to the files directory and you'll want to download this remote keyer interface zip file extract it and install it onto your computer so after you get the software installed and you have all your hardware you're going to have to solder up your db9 to your rca jacks and let me go to my overhead shot so pin 6 which are these black wires here. Both of those go to the shield on my RCA connectors. Pin seven, which is this purple wire, goes to the center pin on the RCA connector, and that goes to my key on the back of, so you can see on the back of my keyer, I've got a PTT1, PTT2, key one, and key two. And then I've got a port for my paddle and then a USB jack, which I plug into my computer. So it gets five volts and uh, it uh, does the side tone. And then on pin eight, that gets wired to the center pin of the PTT. So whenever I plug my RCA jacks in, I know that PTT goes to my purple. So I plug that into my PTT. And then the cable that goes to pin 8 on the DB9 goes into key 1. That's upside down here. Key 1. And then I plug that into my serial jack that is connected to my computer. So I've got two USB connections, one from the keyer and also one from the back of the PTT and the key RCA jack. All right, now that you've got the hardware, you've got the DB9 connector, you've got the FIDI cable and your USB wind keyer connected to your computer, you start up the software. And it brings up this new window, connect to Flex Radio. So I am going to connect to my Flex Radio. So here's my Flex. So I'm going to connect the program to my Flex. And you can see here that it is connected to my computer. AA0Z Stream is my computer name here. And I'm going to go down here and choose the port. And you can find the port by typing in uh, device manager. If I bring device manager over here, I'm going to come down here to ports. And if I unplug the FIDI cable, you can see COM5 just disappeared. So now I plug it back in and COM5 appears again. So I know that 
my FIDI cable that is connected to my wind cure is port five. So I'm gonna come down here and choose port, uh, port five. And I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna choose a frequency here. And I've got my keyer plugged into the back of the wind keyer. And this should work. I heard the side tone coming out of my wind keyer here. But also, you saw that right here, I was keying my radio, and my radio is about an hour and a half away from me at a remote site. So that is how you get dits and dahs from your local, your local keyer into your Flex software, or I'm sorry, your Flex radio that's running remote, but you're running all of your, your software, your smart SDR, locally on your computer. There's also a way that you can use the same pinout on the PTT for a foot switch. So instead of doing Vox with your headphones and your headset connected into your USB port on your computer, you can set up a like a, pi a piano sustain pedal. And as soon as you hit that sustain pedal, it will open up the PTT and you can talk single sideband instead of having some type of uh, like Vox enabled or hit the MOX button. So that's an easy way to add a push to talk pedal to your Flex software. If you do some searches on the forums, you'll find some, uh, some information on how to wire that up. But uh, this is how to connect your keyer, your local keyer, to your Flex software, which is talking to your remote Flex over the internet. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the uh, description or the, the YouTube uh, comment section below. If you have any issues with the keyer, I would re recommend that you go to groups.io and uh, post your question in that keyer forum. And there's a lot of smart people and the programmer that would be able to answer your questions. 73. See you later.